What's up guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. That's right, you guys, and no snap. It's gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys, welcome back, and happy Thursday. Only one more day, and we'll be at Friday. So, wanted to go ahead and get something right off my chest here at the beginning of the episode. Uh, yeah, did not expect to be met with all the hostility and uh, everything like that down there in the, uh, the comment section of the last episode because of the ending. Um, it is a game. And I'm happy with how it ended. If you're not happy with how it ended, um, hopefully you can um, then you know look it up online and uh, see that. Uh, but let uh, my let's play be the uh, showcase of I guess what not to do. Um, anytime you want to give me any you know constructive criticism or advice or anything like that, do please give it to me uh, constructively rather than um, what happened in the, the comment section. Uh, but you know what? That's okay. I'm I'm a big person and we can move on. So. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of this stuff with the rune right. So, I think what we're probably going to do is we're probably going to just start upgrading now. Uh, and we're going to see what I can get. So, let's see. Want to enhance some stuff. So, what I'm looking to do is um, on my Mastercrafted Ursine armor, I want one of them to be... Where's it at? Uh, it's either this one with the Quen Shield or this one with Deflect All Arrows because that's honestly kind of nice. So what I think we'll do, because I want to try this out, I want to see if you can do three enchantments on one or if you can only do one per armor piece. I imagine you can only do one per armor piece, um, but even saying that, it doesn't even look like you can do it on other parts of the armor. Now that's interesting. How many slots are on... Thanks. How many slots are on like my, my gauntlets and my boots? So those all have one, two, and one, but I there was no option to add sockets to them, so that's really interesting. So I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to get stuff on those, but perhaps I can only do it on my chest piece, I'm not sure. Um, but okay, let's see. I want to see if he's got anything in his shop that I can buy that I need. Looks like he actually has everything that I need for that one. So let's go ahead and buy those. <clears throat> it's going to be a bit expensive, uh, and hopefully we're actually able to afford it. Yeah, okay, we'll be good to go on that front. Then crafting, and we need to go over to here, and over to enchanting, please. So now I can go ahead and do deflection on this. So enchant word into item. Okay, so one enchantment takes up all three of the slots. That's good to know. Now... The other thing that I want to try is to add something to this Ophiary Kilogy, or whatever it is. How much would it cost me to add a socket? 1,374 gold? We're going to do it. Because this sword is actually better than the one that I'm using right now, has more armor piercing than the one that I'm having uh, right now, and it has a whole bunch more things that I can put on there. <clears throat> so now, we need to see what I'm going to put on this thing. So let's see, we've got Severance, Rejuvenation, Elation... Uh, this one would be amazing, because the Grindstone and Armorer's Table bonuses never expire. Any food consumed regenerates 100% more vitality, but everything tastes like pierogies. Once they've reached their maximum level of adrenaline points... No, we don't want that one. But, um, I need <laughs> The pierog rune stones, I love that. Um, any food consumed regenerates 100% more vitality, but everything tastes like pierogies. Now, it's either that one or it's this one. Fatal Blows, or no, which, uh, this one. But these are level 2 ones. So I wonder if there's a level 3 once, um, I mean, I know there's a different level after you get, um, the last, like, the Grandmaster. But this Dumpling ones, that's kind of cool, honestly. But to put it on a sword? Why would I want to put it on a sword? That just seems kind of silly, because as, if you're not using the sword, you know, you can't have anything else. Hmm... I don't know. Uh, but you know what would be really cool is if you had um, this one and you made the uh, the fire one, the ignition, because it's the uh, Order of the Flaming Rose. That would be kind of cool. So do we want to enchant this or do we want to put things inside of the sockets? That's my question. Because I feel like it could be kind of cool to have that. Especially that the Armorer's Table and Grindstone bonuses never expire. That would be amazing. I bet. I hope it lasts through um, meditation, because if that's the case, that would be really cool. So let's go ahead and pin that one. We need a Lesser Svarog, Lesser Devana, and Lesser Morana. So let's check and see if he's got those in his shop. He does have those in his shop. K-1 
Can we buy them? Okay, so we're going to be running out of monies. Um, we need to go ahead and just sell off a bunch of this stuff here to get a little bit more cash back. There we go. That should work. And if need be, we can sell um, the other sword that I've got. Alright, so I only need one of those. And I only need one of those. And tell me I can... Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, here's what we'll do. <laughs> here's what we'll do. Uh, farewell. Thanks. And let's swap our sword. Does my armor have any, like, enchantment on it anymore? Or anything like that? It would be really cool if it had the runes and stuff on it. That would be super cool. We'll go ahead and swap to that sword. Yeah, because that sword does a lot more damage. And it can get me a decent bit more money back. The world's never... There we go. And now we can go ahead and enhance this once more. Craft something for. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we actually have what we need, don't we? Lesser Marana runestone. I thought I had a Marana runestone. Maybe I maybe I can't. Can I craft one? Let's see. Let's go down to here. Do we have the uh, Lesser Marana runestone? Yeah, I can. Okay, wait a second. I need to get the. Um, that's gonna be better than trying to buy one, honestly. I just need the blank uh, runestone, I'm pretty sure. Where do you make the blank runestone? Uh, I could have sworn you could make blank ones, right? Let's see, let me see if I can find where it's at. Oh, it's going to be in here, isn't it? Inside of crafting, uh, crafting stuff. Yep, there it is, okay. So the lesser runestone right there, and then if we come down here, now we can make a lesser... Morana Runestone. Perfect. And now we can come up here into the enchanting. And we can come down here and add preservation. A boom bam. So now both of our things have been enchanted. And uh, we haven't had to sell either of our weapons. So that's really cool. We've still got hope. And we've still got that weapon as well. So once we get better stuff as well, uh, we can do all that. And then we can go from there. Because once we can enchant the silver sword as well, uh, we can actually have a couple of other things too. So, okay, so, uh, back to being broke, unfortunately, but you know what? That's A-okay. And look at our sword. Ooh, that looks even cooler than the one before. Oh, damn, dude, that looks awesome. All right, so now we have to find um, a grindstone and an armorer's workbench, and it's a good thing I remember where one of those is at. So I'll meet you there, and then I think, I believe it's time we enter the Duchy of Toussaint. Okay, and I can confirm that it lasts through meditation. So now we will have an infinite um, enchantment, or an infinite uh, better sword, and an infinitely better uh, armor as well. That's honestly really cool. Very useful too. So let's go ahead and drop off some of the stuff that we don't need in our stash here. Yes, I am indeed in Crow's Perch because this is really the only one that I remember. Um, and let's see, do I have anything in my stash? Oh, I had a whole bunch of stuff in my stash. Holy crap. Okay, that's good. That means I have a few more things that I can sell, and I've got a bunch more of this stuff too. So once we get to the Grandmaster stuff, uh, we can go ahead and do all that. So we'll just go ahead and throw all this stuff in here. Don't need this stuff. We'll put the ass ears and the glasses back in. I do know that you want me to go and grab the, um, uh, the, 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 whatever, the outfit or whatever it was, um, but we can do that at another time. Let's make sure everything with Roach is out of here. Is this one better than mine? I don't think it is. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure the one that we have is the best one. Conserved Shalimar Trophy. 5% bonus gold. I think the one that we've got now is honestly the best one. Alright, so yeah, we'll just get rid of all of that. And now, I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we could probably just keep all of this stuff on our inventory. God, we've got so much garbage in our freaking inventory. Okay, but that's good. At least we've got a whole bunch of stuff ready for the uh, rune rate once we're up to level 3. So, now that that's done, I suppose it's time we go ahead and start the Envoys and Wine Boys uh, quest, and we head to the Duchy of Toussaint to begin the Of Blood and Wine DLC. Now, I'll go ahead and say a little bit about um, the Blood and Wine DLC. I remember playing it, uh, but I don't remember all of the details about it, because I played it when it first came out on PlayStation. Uh, so... If I, you know, begin to remember things or some things come back to me, obviously I'll talk about that because I think that would be important. Um, but it's probably going to be a bit different than the uh, original playthrough of The Witcher as well as the Hearts of Stone. Um, just because I know this DLC, but I am so excited to get back into it. Not to mention, we're very powerful now. Uh, we are, what level are we? Level 38. 
Our armor, I think, is pretty good. We've got a decent out like outfit as far as um, skill points go. We've got two extra skill points as well. Um, and let's just double check that all of my stuff is indeed good to go. All of that stuff's good, and I don't have anything to repair my armor, but we can always get one of those. But we do have our deflection, which is really cool. I really do wish that I could put on something else. Perhaps when we get the Grandmaster Ursine outfit, we could do something with the, the pants, because it might add another socket. I hope. That would be really cool if I could. But let's see. Let's go to the fast travel marker, and let's see where we're supposed to go. Doesn't look like it's too far away, actually. Alright, to the Stonecutter Settlement. Okay, let's see what's going on up here. This looks like where we're supposed to be at. We've not got no need for your help. Have no fear, good man. Our labors shall be done quickly. The prowlers to be banished for good. Cool armor. Milton, look. Mine's cooler. Get out. In the flesh. Hail, Witcher. Let us go inside and greet you as befits an old friend. And you, fear not. We shall put an end to the rule of outlaws soon. Found your message on a notice board. You see, Palmerin? I told you. The griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Perrin and Palmerin de Lanfor. Good to see you both. In years. We are short. We share your joy. You must forgive us our, uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. Let's say it looks kind of nice. We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison had left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues. A tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. Mm -hmm. These plunderers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. I can we are help both you. sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. Cool. Let me help you with these bandits. So, plan to go out and meet the bandits when they arrive? Fight them? Parmaron wishes first to appeal to their sense of decency. <laughs> but I expect they will be deaf to this. Yeah, completely. We must afford them a chance to stand down. Many a hardened outlaw has left the path of wrongdoing upon hearing words of admonition. Doesn't happen in these lands. Ever. If they do not heed my reprimand, we at least will know we have done all within our means to evade bloodshed. Fine. That's fair. Naturally, I'll help when Palmerin's rhetoric falls on deaf ears. Excellent. Then we've but to wait for the rogues to arrive. Really cool armor, though. Like, really cool. All the gold and silver. Are coming. Hear that? Your bandits have arrived. Let us go out to greet them. It's a hell of a sword on his side. Oh, what a cute cat. Run away, kitty. Oi. Don't you hit that cat. I will literally skin you alive. Aye, there be bandits here. <laughs> he mean us. I, Palmer and Delonfall, call upon you to repent. Search your hearts. Do you not see that they are blackened? <laughs> Regular punch and duty here. To prey upon commoners is no honor. To loot their meager stores, abandon the path of shame. And we will spare you. <laughs> right, good jest that. Had us a laugh. Now, fuck off or we lose our patience and you lose something else. Nay, <laughs> wait, Zorg. These lads are a lark. Mayhaps they know some tricks. Oi, players! Can you toss balls all loopity like? 
Or do that thing where one spits fire while the other farts. <laughs> Take my advice, listen to Palmerin. Noble Palmerin's giving you a chance. Now I'm gonna give you some advice. Do what he says. Or what? Or you'll find yourself fighting knights errant in the pay of the Duchess of Toussaint. And they eat scum like you with their morning porridge. Well, there's three of them. Two turtled up in armor. We'll come back later. Some wench sent them. Folk who say we's a feared of wenches and jesters. Ooh, insulted the Duchess. Not good. Indeed, we cannot let the affront go unpunished. I swear upon the heron you will pay with your own blood. By the crane, villains, ready your arms. Oh, I can dig these guys. Holy crap, they look awesome. All right, somebody shoot me with an arrow. I want to see it bounce off of me. <laughs> <laughs> Please, someone shoot me with an arrow. Uh, okay, let's see. Ooh. Oh my god, just instant kill. Nice. I hear somebody with a crossbow back there. Please hit me with it. <laughs> Please try and hit me with it. Oh, I just set him on fire. Oh, that's right, this sword has a chance to set things on fire. Oh, I can dig this shit. Are you kidding me? Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, 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 okay. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, can I eat a dumpling? Thank you. I need a pierogi. Not good. God, I hate these shield bearers. Oh, the bandit leader's right there. Okay, that's that's why. Ooh. Uh, okay, let's see. Can I do a grape shot and blow you in half? Sorry about your bad luck there, big man. Okay. Oh, he just shot his own guy. Come on, big man. Die. There we go, there goes that lovely head. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, damn. Ooh, you thought you could hit me. You'll never learn, he says. Okay, up there goes him. Come on, hit me. There it is. Good boy. Go ahead, what's your plan there with a crossbow? My armor will deflect you a million times and a half. Uh-huh. Go ahead, shoot me with your crossbow, do it. I want to see it happen, I want to see it work. Shoot me, damn it! Or not. Okay. There goes your brain. Sorry about your bad luck. Oi! So these are the Knights of the Duchy of Toussaint. Super cool. Damn it. And he's in my way, damn it! Shoot me! Oh, that's the coolest thing ever! <laughs> It just deflects it. That's so damn cool. All right, let's see. Uh, here, put your, you better put your shield up there, big man. Not good. So wait, this sword has the option to set things on fire, then. Chance to cause burning. That is the coolest damn thing ever. Are you kidding me? So not only do I do bleed damage, but I have the option and ability to set them on fire, too? Will this sword stop being so amazing? I don't think so. All right, this guy is severely outnumbered. Hi, big man. How's that axe treating you? Oh, yeah, I forgot I can't block axes. But I can get behind you. Sorry about your bad luck. Do you have a crossbow there, big man? Nope. But you don't have a torso. Most likely. Oh, I was right. You don't have a torso anymore. But see, these, these guys, they had the chance to run away. And now they're dead. Basically. And that guy did not stand back up. Perfect. Why do they not emerge? Lots to loot. It is over. We have banished the scoundrels. Lifted oppression's yoke from their lives. Warned you it'd be like this. Fear you as much as they did the bandits now. Sorry, no fanfares and flowers. You're not in Toussaint. Ugh. It is true what folk claim. In the north, no noble deed goes unthwarted. It is time to go home. Mm -hmm. And we shall, my friend. Come, Geralt. It's time we delivered our message. Okay. What's this message, you golden person, you? So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition... Is sacred in Toussaint. All right. Fine. Most honorable Geralt, Slayer of monsters and all Ifils Nefarious, 
which prey on the defenseless of this world. Whereas never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood, and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come mm -hmm. to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the star-crossed city's most gracious protectress, her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Cool. Shall you answer her call? Of course I'll answer her call. Henri Anna Henrietta say all that, word for word? Anna Henrietta really say all that, word for word? Well, in point of fact, she said, bring me the Witcher and dare not spare your horses. Only make certain this time he comes alone. The Ducal Chamberlain added the rest. You know how it is. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I might add, be it unofficially, that a hefty reward awaits. Yet the specifics you will need to verify with her illustrious highness. So many adjectives. Illustrious. Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever. And the most polite. No shit. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. <clears throat> Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses, bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When her grace learnt of the second, she discharged us oh, and fit you, promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. So it's either Cthulhu or... <laughs> uh, okay. I'll take the contract, obviously. <sighs> I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. <sighs> no. Just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... Mm, demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent! We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you. Yet time is of the essence. Ready to go. Soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Toussaint. To Toussaint! Ah, Tatusa! With a croissant! What you doing hiding behind the wall there, big man, with a pitchfork? God, even their horses are golden. Holy crap! I gotta get me over to the damn Duchy of Tucson. Damn! The land of oversaturation. <laughs> Everything's so green! <laughs> oh, if it's as, if it's as grand as it was that I remembered it. Exactly how I remembered it. Oh man, where's that? Where there it is. There's Disneyland off in the background. Look at how gorgeous this shit is. Changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd. I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the heron. Uh, what's going on, big man? Well, that's a big dude. Uh... What the hell just happened? Oh, that poor horse! <laughs> yeah, stand there with your tiny little sword, dude. He's got a freaking barrel on his head. What the heck? And he's using the grain mill thingy as a, a mace. What the crap? <clears throat> okay. Oh, damn it. Our, <laughs> our bonus is gone. Okay. Goliath is this thing's name. Wonderful. Oh, cool. Travel to the Duchy of Tucson. So cool. Oh, but he takes a shit ton of damage. I'm, I'm gonna be okay with this. 
Oi, 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 but his AoE is just crazy. Ooh. What you doing, big man? Come on. Come on, Golgot. Come on, you jam giant. Ow. That one kind of really hurt. Carol, why did you try to block that? Okay, well, this is a hell of a beginning. So in our Hearts of Stone, we kill the giant frog. In the Blood of Wine, uh, we kill the giant. Wonderful. <laughs> why is he only going after me, damn it? He's almost dead. Just keep the fire on him, Geralt. Keep it. Uh, let's see. Does Axie work on this big man? Nope. <laughs> That's gonna be a big old nope. Come on, get it, bro. There he goes. Now he's dead. Sorry about your bad luck there, big man. He had something in his side. Ow. Oh, it was a javelin that went through him. Wonderful. Big beast. Tackling it single-handed? None too wise. Neither is love born of wisdom, Witcher. So, Guillaume, outfit it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. Damn skippy it is. Uh, you did well against the giant. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien Delatour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth, then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. <laughs> gracious <laughs> magnificence. Later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney grounds. I shall take you then to see her grace. Okay. Is it just me, or does it look a lot better than the, than the base game? Feel like the DLC maybe got an overhaul? A graphical one, that is? Damn, that was a hell of a beginning. But unfortunately, we are indeed at the end of today's episode right here. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.